Okay, this video is a demo of IPFS, which is um, part of the blockchain sector, and it's a way of storing data that's going to be multimedia, multimedia driven. I'm going to start with a few things here. One is the this shows the IP addresses. The important thing to take note of here is the the zero zero zeros. This means you can have access from outside this server and the 8180. I had uh, significant problems with this. So the, the default is 8080 which gives you conflict with N NGNIX which is the um, web, web server. So the, the key thing to, I think to understand here is you can change these. In fact you can change these to any numbers you like. So uh, but these, this needs to be zero, 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 um, and similarly, I had to change this. I think zero, zero, zero. So the, if we go into how we just create a simple text file. So if we just create um, a new one, t seven dot text, and I call this um, IPFS testing. And then I copy T7 to T8. If I add these files now, I get this address back. And if I now add T8 instead, I get exactly the same address. And that's because the content is the same. So the file names are different. But the content is the same. IPFS testing. And if I take this and I put it over here, I'm getting so I'm accessing the web browser. I'm using port 8180. I'm using the full IP address. And if you go back into up here, ifconfig, you can see the address given for the server. So this means we can access by using the process, the, uh, the Damien here, we, through this gateway and through this API and these two ports we can actually access this data. So what we want to do is put this onto the blockchain. If I go back into the blockchain, I've set up this already showing um, the two functions. This is the ABI set and get and then this is the contract address and what I'm going to do is deploy, this is from video one so if I'm going to now use this address put it onto the blockchain um, so I'm going to send transaction And then that's going to start mining that. There. Now, um, what I'll do is show you some of the. That's the Solidity. Now, the Solidity hasn't got an array coded. This is a demo I picked up online, so it hasn't actually got an array. So it's only going to pull back one transaction. And if we go into the um, JavaScript. Here we can see the get function is what we're going to use in a moment, and this does a, a this get call here. So the contract instance, the get call, um, and then this will this will um, show the data if we use get data on the screen. So if we go into, let's see if it's mine yet. So it has so T4 has this. Oh, so we need gets. And that address there corresponds to the address we added here. Now if I go see if get data works. So get data uh, has worked. It's actually given this as the link as well to the where the file is. So um, 
and that of course is the link that was earlier in the browser so I'll quickly go through the JavaScript it's got the ABI uh, this in fact this is our this is slightly out of date let's go back to the server um, so the, these are the actual addresses so this is the IP address the 255 at the end there is corresponding to um, this 255 here so in the end there's 41 so if we go back into Yes. we can see the IP address we can see the port numbers and as we scroll down this is the byte code for the contract which you can get in truffle if you're using truffle and then we have the actual get data part here which is used in the JavaScript um, that's about it really. I'm, I know this is a little bit technical. IPFS is is technical. Um, it does work off ports and addresses, and it does. Um, it's not. Um, uh, it's one of those one of those areas which does need quite a bit of work to get it going. So, um, by this now that address has been put into blockchain, and once it's in the blockchain, it means that we can now get consensus. Um, on this so we can confirm because the content defines if we go back here because the content this is related to this um, this is a, a unique relationship so basically if this content changes this address changes so if I now go in to amend um, something here if I then say I'm going to edit T7 and I'm going to say new data then if I'm if I'm adding this in, into the um, IPFS T7 so it's the same file as before the same file name but the contents change and this address is now different so if somebody had IPFS testing as their content that they wanted to make sure was um, known about so they would register that against this address now this can be multimedia content so it could be a video file you know three five megabytes so it doesn't have to go on the blockchain we can just store this address and this address will define this but also through consensus we know if anyone's changed it so we have a unique relationship uh, and there is a way actually to sign it as well to, to protect the data so we actually now have a, a situation where the blockchain through consensus can define whether the data has changed or not and then we can store um, a multimedia file later I'm going to add react.js so it's a bit easier to follow but this one the key learning points are to understand about these these IP addresses here uh, to understand how we can add to IPFS and it's content driven and in Solidity, the Solidity contract if I can find that, the Solidity contract to add the data and to uh, read the data and then the JavaScript, in this example it's the JavaScript and this will later, I'm going to move this over to React.js so it'll be a bit easier but um, There is a part to actually add a file with this as well, I think. There's actually an add file part down here. So I did this part manually. So that's everything for this demo. IPFS is um, does require quite a bit of work to get it going because there isn't much documentation I could find about it.